welcome to another episode of Cloud City Flyers. I'm Chris. Today we're going to be talking about portable wireless LED lights that you can put on your aircraft. Basically what I did was I took the concept of an LED throwy, which is basically a battery in an LED and a little bit of tape. I tweaked it a little bit to make it work for my aircraft. And as you can see, they are wireless and very inexpensive to make. They're easy to make. All the items to make this are readily available at your local store, whether it be an electronic store or otherwise, retail store. And I'm going to show you exactly what I did to make these. Nice thing about these is, besides the fact that they look cool on your plane or your aircraft, you can take these off and then put them on another aircraft if you're at the field, and uh, they'll look great at dusk. I wouldn't recommend flying with these little things at night because they won't light your plane up enough for you to see it and to fly safely. But they do accent it nicely, and that's all I ever wanted out of this. So I'm going to show you exactly what I did to make these. Pop it right back on there. And it's a lot of fun. The LEDs come in many different colors and different brightnesses. We're going to talk about that in a minute. But first, let's go over some of the things that you will need for your LED throwing. First, we're going to start with the LEDs themselves, the lights. As you can see, I've got an array of them here. You can get these at your local electronics store. I got mine at Radio Shack. They come in different colors, different brightness. Some will flash. Uh, some will change colors. I believe I got a 10-pack for $3.00 when I purchased mine and what you want to look for as far as the brightness goes is the MCD rating or the Milli Candela rating the higher the rating the brighter the LED but it's pretty much a generalization as far as I'm concerned uh, some will say super bright on the package or ultra bright you just gotta determine what you want to accent your aircraft but those um, are very very cool and inexpensive to buy also you're gonna need a hobby knife like the one I have here, with a sharp pointy end. You're also going to need some Velcro, the male and female. And I recommend the sticky kind, with a sticky back. You don't want to have to glue this on your uh, aircraft to be permanent. You can take these off, which is nice. Also, you're going to need a battery. This is a lithium CR2032 battery. And you can buy these at any retail store. These are in the battery section, and you can get two for five dollars, uh, one for three dollars, just depends on what kind you buy. And also, last but not least, you're going to need some key ring identifiers. And these basically, uh, you find these at your local hardware store, I think I got mine for like 60 cents a piece. And what they do is, basically they're for your key, or keys, you can put them on and then determine uh, you know what color is which like for your house or car or whatever but we're not going to use them for that obviously this is going to house our battery and I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that next okay first we're going to start with our velcro the male and the female end I'm going to use the male end this is the rough part the female end will then, will then go on our plane or aircraft whatever you choose and we're going to cut two strips of this with some scissors Two tiny strips, just like that. Okay. Then we're going to get our battery. And there's a plus side and a negative side. The negative side is clear. The plus side will have a little plus and like the, it'll say like 3 volt lithium in the brand name, along with the number of the battery. And you're going to want to put your Velcro on this side. So we'll just peel the backing off. And it doesn't matter where it goes on the on the plus side, the positive side, as long as you get it on. You want to put one, like so, and take your other piece of Velcro, and put that on the other side, but leave a little gap here in the middle. That's going to be for the longer lead of your LED, or the anode, is what it's called. So there, your Velcro's on the positive side. You've got a little uh, little area in here for your LED lead to go into. Okay, then we're going to take our keyring identifier, like so. 
and you're going to put the battery inside of this. Basically make a housing for it. And it might take you a minute or two. They don't fit super tight, but it's just enough. There's a little play in it. You just have to work with it. There, like that. Make sure your Velcro is in there too. And the top of the key ring identifier, right here there's a little hole, that's where the key goes through when you're putting in a key. You're going to want that to line up with the line that your Velcro is not in, like the little, the little uh, valley or whatever, if you will, where the LED is going to go in. Okay, then you got that right there. Then you're going to take your LED. I've got a red flasher LED. Okay, the long end, or the anode, as you can see, these are different lengths. The top one here is longer. The bottom one is the cathode, and that's the negative. So you're going to want to line up. Remember we put our Velcro on the, the positive side of the battery. So we're going to put it through the hole here and just kind of sandwich it in between there. As you can see, the, the LED is starting already because the positive and negative sides are attached to the battery. Okay, and then we're going to leave it like so. And then we're going to take our hobby knife and we're going to cut just a little like slit. And be careful because these are sharp depending on what you use. Just a little like slit right here. Kind of lined up between the, the Velcro right there. And then one on the other side, the underside. Just a little slit. And we're going to push our positive and negative through the little hole, like so. Make that line up there. And you might have to work with this too a little bit. It's not too tedious, but it might give you a fit sometimes. And you know that there's other ways you guys think that would this would work better. I'd be, I'd be glad to hear it. Maybe you have an idea or something. And just so you know, these LEDs do, these uh, wires are, are pretty pliable, so um, you've got to be careful not to bend them too much. Okay, now I've got both wires through. As you can see, the LED is on. And you see the longer lead right here, the positive, the top. You're going to want to Velcro the top part to your, like, like your wings, like my finger's the wing. You want to Velcro it to the top. And what I like to do is bend the LED just a little bit so it's more visible from the sky. Okay, quick before I go, I want to thank everybody for watching this episode of Cloud City Flyers. Um, thank you for your comments. Uh, thank you for subscribing. I truly appreciate it. Um, also, I want to mention that uh, I'm on Facebook now. I've got a group called Cloud City Flyers RC Club. So when you're done feeding your cats and happy pets, um, why not come over and check it out? Uh, basically, it's an open forum. You can post your uh, experiences, your comments, questions, videos, photos, whatever you'd like. I'm trying to get the word out on that. I'll post a link for that in the comment section below. Um, also, I'm going to post links for the LED throwy, which I showed you how to make here today, um, the origin of it, and also uh, a little more about the LED technology that you can do with uh, your aircrafts as well. Uh, so next month I will have a new review of an aircraft that I recently got. And uh, until then, happy flying. I'm Chris. Take care.